But the era of lone scholars scattered about the world was coming to an end. The change began at Palenque, where an extraordinary collaborative effort burst on the scene in the early 1970s. The catalyst of this effort was Merle Green Robertson, an artist and school teacher. She had spent years living near the site and documenting its crumbling reliefs. These floral patterns here with the eye in the center, well, these go all across the building in rows. And then on the next row, there's a different pattern. This is like a bell-shaped flower. Well, it must have been gorgeous at the time that it was uh, in its heyday. I was so interested in the art of Palenque that um, I just wanted to record them so they'd be there for posterity, for future scholars to study and so forth. In 1970, as Robertson was documenting the paintings and reliefs of Palenque, a young art teacher named Linda Sheely happened on the site during a vacation trip to Mexico. When I walked among Palenque's buildings, I saw a culture where the art was central, and I really was driven to understand who had done it and why and how. Sheely became Robertson's assistant. As they worked, she came to know Palenque intimately. We had a plank about a foot wide that we have to walk out on when we set up the camera. So Linda and I would sit there and we would argue about uh, all the things that people didn't know about Palenque and we'd have all the answers and then the next night we'd change our mind and the answers would be different. And Merle, as she began to build her house, created a center where everyone was welcome where all of the material that she had was available to anybody that wanted to use it. And that became crucially important to the, to the early 70s, that uh, young, stupid, ignorant people like me were allowed to come and sit at the feet of people. And uh, there was never, in a lot of places, I was rejected because I didn't have a PhD and I wasn't from an Ivy League college. Uh, Merle didn't give a damn for that. In the fall of 1973, Robertson invited about 30 people to gather over Christmas break to discuss the art and inscriptions of Palenque. It was the first major scholarly conference ever to be held at a Maya site. It was dubbed a Mesa Redonda, Spanish for round table. Senior scholars and young students were welcomed on equal terms. I mean, this, this was the mother of all meetings. Even though there were only a handful of us there, every single person there at that meeting had something to contribute and something to say that nobody had ever heard of or even conceived of before. I'm still amazed at what happened then in terms of just the brilliance of going to a site that had a lot of inscriptions and talking about it so that if somebody said, I forgot what that glyph looked like. They could go right out to the site and look at it and, and verify something. They were there with all the data. And it was just a wonderful atmosphere in which to work. 